Hello YouTube, this is Chelsea from First Time MPKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you remember, in the last tutorial, I'll show you how to create a grid. We created a 16 by 16 grid, which had 250 cells, 256 cells, it had, or square boxes. Uh, it was not really a mesh, it was just a grid, it was just a give you a taste of what uh, the DL2 library can do and how to do it. In this tutorial, we're going to actually be working with meshes and how to create uh, hypershell mesh and, uh, and, uh, and other stuff. So let's get started because we got a lot of ground to cover. Uh, before we go into the more complicated code, I wanted to show you something simpler. Because if you go into the this code is it can be, be a little bit uh, you know a little bit complicated so before we go into that let me, let's show you this baby so it's a lot smaller code and a lot easier to follow so basically and it has the same concepts of what you're going to see in the other code but a lot easier to follow so basically you bringing in the fe uh, find an element is found right in the grid together where the grid is in the in the source directory of deal 2 and you f bring in file stream because we're going to be working with files we're using the namespace this deal 2 creating an object triangulation two dimensions we're going to be working with two dimensions and uh, here is where it starts getting interesting. You start creating an object, uh, generating a grid hypershell, and its center, inner radius, outer radius, cells, colorization. It's a Boolean, don't worry about that for now. Where did I get this? It's right here. This is the hypershell, the triangulation dimension of triad. Is this guy right there? The center is this guy. Inner radius 0.5, outer radius 1.0, number of cells 10. And don't worry about that. For now, it's colorized false. We'll talk about that uh, later. Then you here you do the grid out, uh, which basically producing the grid. And you do, we're going to be using GNU plot because it's a GNU public license file to open it. And mapping Q generic is coming from here. And if you want to know more, just go into the, your mapping Q generic header file and explains it. And basically, these two are related. It's using a reference from the mapping out, out, and triangulation, which is the object. Okay, nothing that you haven't seen before. So let's just run it. And we go C make. And now make. And now run it. And it created a file called out GPL. It's this guy right here. You move out for now, not to confuse you. And now, in order to open that public file, if you try to use image magic, you're not going to be successful. You're going to get an error. If you try to use GIMP, same thing. Even GIMP cannot open that file. So, the one way to use it is, is by using GNU plot. Because GNU plot is uh, part of the the GNU. It's, so it's it's part of it might be part of your distro already. If you don't have it, just do sudo app get install GNU plot and you'll get it. So you basically you open it and you get a terminal like this. Here you got to set your style. It's a little bit uh, old school in that respect, but it's a very powerful program. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. And now the name of the plot, so in this case, is called OutGPL. Don't leave a space, it'll error out. And there it is. This is your hypershell. So if you open it, 
make it a little bit bigger. You can always auto scale it. And there you go. And you have your 10 cells. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cells. And your inner radius is uh, from, let's put a grid on it. So now this is the center. So it's from 0 to 0 0.5. 0 to 0 0.5. So that's correct. So that's your inner radius. So if you want to do, this is a hyper shell. But you can also do, as you can see, there's a lot of cool stuff here. You can do a half hyper shell. And as long as the parameters are all match and are all the same, it does not matter. All you need to do is change the name of the function. You'll be fine. And let's see it. I'll show you. So instead of a hyper shell, now let's do a half hyper shell. So half hyper shell. And everything will stay the same. Yes, yes. See, make, make. And run it. And get no plot. Set your style. And then you plot at the name of the don't leave a space and there you go now you have a half a hyper shell and it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's still using ten cells okay and now you can go even let's out of scale it so you see it a lot nicer and if you put the grid you can see that still is 0 0.5 is the uh the inner radius and the outer radius is still one so if you want to you can even do a quarter hyper shell how we can do that i'll show you nice and easy as long as these parameters match it does it is uh the sky is the limit so now in this case we're going to use the quarter hyper shell I'll show you how easy it is. Just go quarter, hyper shell, everything else is, stays the same. And now let's do C make again. Make. And it's executing cleanly. Run it. And now let me clean up LS and then out. GPL, let's use you know, plot again, set style data lines, and then plot out GPL, and there's your quarter. And you, same thing, 10 cells. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cells. And if we auto scale it, there you go. That's a quarter of the shell, of the hyper shell. And if you put the grid, same thing, 0 to 0 0.5 inner radius. All the dimensions stay the same. Nothing has changed. And uh, and, and this is a way that, that you can start manipulating um, your your meshes. And in the next tutorial, we'll create the analysts and we'll, and we'll show you how to use the uh, uh, using iterators, which is a very powerful uh, uh, way to, to achieve what we're trying to do. But that will be in the next tutorial. In this tutorial, this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box, subscribe to my channel, follow me in GitHub, and I will see you next time with another tutorial. Take care.